San Diego scientists detected our region's first case of Omicron this week with the help of a testing trick that's now being used around the world. This shortcut has a fancy name, S gene dropout, but it's proving extremely useful in the search for Omicron. We're going in depth to explain how it has roots in Carlsbad. The first step to finding Omicron is a PCR test. This shows if someone is infected with COVID, but it doesn't reveal which variant is causing the infection. For that, the sample has to be sent to a lab for full genome sequencing. The problem is that sequencing can take days, and the U.S. only does it on 5 to 10 percent of its positive samples. But by a stroke of luck, one PCR test made in Carlsbad offers a shortcut. So we were first alerted to this from a customer in South Africa just to the outbreak of Thanksgiving. Mark Stevenson is with Thermo Fisher Scientific, a global company with more than 2,200 employees in Carlsbad. Early in the pandemic, in March 2020, they released their TACPATH COVID-19 test. This PCR test looks for three genes on the coronavirus. We designed this assay knowing that viruses could mutate, and so therefore we had some redundancy present in the design. It was by chance that it turned out a mutation occurred under one of the areas we were detecting. And so that's allowed us to fortuitously detect the Omicron virus. It turns out Omicron shed one of the exact genes they test for. N gene is the blue curve and then the green curve is the S gene. When someone has Omicron, the results look like this. Two of the genes are detected. The third one in the spike protein is missing what scientists call S gene dropout. It's not outright confirmation of Omicron, but it tells scientists they're looking at a sample that is not Delta, which accounts for 99% of the infections in the US. PCR happens quickly in a couple of hours in the lab. And so we can straight away flag if it's a likely case. The World Health Organization has urged labs to use S gene dropout on Thermo Fisher's test to prioritize samples for full sequencing, helping labs worldwide conduct faster surveillance. And so straight away we can identify if there's a traveler coming to the region, if there's a community spread coming in and we can take public health action. Thermo Fisher says it's ramped up production to make 20 million TACPATH test kits per week, with some of the materials made right here in Carlsbad. And here locally, Scripps Research Institute was the group that found the first sample of Omicron in San Diego yesterday, and they confirmed it was with the help of this Thermo Fisher test. So far, TACPATH is the only test that can do this, but other test makers are racing to release similar products.